So I'm giving you until midnight tomorrow night. Um, I'm giving you until midnight tomorrow night to finish it. Okay, um, let's take a look at it. So it's open now on the course website. Okay, on itlms.mitt.mitt.ca. Um, it's called MIT Match. I'll share my screen with you. Okay. Um, it's called MIT Match. You download the starter chat. Yeah, I wanted to make all of my projects MITT related. So you download the starter. Okay. So we'll download the starter. Um, I already have it downloaded, so I'll download it again. And it looks like this. Mit match, incomplete version. Okay, your job is to make the complete version. Pow. Okay, so what you see here is you see um, the card to match. You see matched cards so once so the way this game works i'll show you how this game works because i have a working copy okay you can see the final copy of the game here is it gives you a piece and you flip a card over to try to find the matching piece once a piece matches it stays open and the next piece shows up so i'm looking for the feather now so obviously the apple is still there, right? I don't remember what was here, the feather. So the apple is still here, right? It's always the apple. Now it's always the apple on this round. When I refresh it, it shuffles it. So every time I come here or I click restart, okay, I will get a new piece. Now this shuffling this is not that important in reality because as long as these are shuffled, the order that these come in don't matter, right? Um, so I'm looking for, but these are always going to be different. Feather. Oh yeah, okay, I have a little bug in there. Yeah, there is a bug. <laughs> um, I should only be shuffling one of them. So, but that that's that's fine. Okay, don't do the same though. I expect you to do a better job than that. I was modifying this and I probably wasn't paying attention to what I was doing. Okay, so um, when you click restart, it should shuffle these. Okay, and I believe I indicate that. Let me look at the uh, requirements here. So I give you a starter. So in the starter, you will get uh, app.js, okay, which where I give you a shuffle function. So I give you a shuffle function to shuffle these things. You have to figure out how to use it though. Okay, pass an array, return an array, huh. probably shuffles an array. Okay, shuffle function. Okay, shuffle the cards and set a card in the next card element. This card should replace or updated whenever a player finds the correct match. Okay, so all the requirements should be in here, but they should also be in the um, uh, in here as well in the project requirements. Okay, so you get this app.js file with the shuffle function. In addition to that, you get an index file uh, that you want to open that shows you all the different, provides you with all the different. Uh, font awesome icons to use. Okay. Gives you the classes of what it looks like when a card is matched. Gives you a class of what it looks like when the card is shown. So open, right? Show, not show. So this card here, when we're looking at this, this card is shown. So when I click on a card, it shows that card. Right? When I match a card, it stays open and it gets this class matched. Now, when you're preparing this, you are going to want to remove these classes, just like you had to fix the pig game. You're gonna to wanna to remove those, save those, so you start with a closed um, set. 
in a uh, closed pile of cards. In addition to that, you're probably, you might want to do something with these, right? If you're gonna shuffle them, you might either wanna go get all of them, take them out, shuffle them, reinsert them, or you can start with these being empty and you can generate them uh, so you can and you can generate them the whole thing you can generate the stuff on the inside of the cards because you actually can't tell when I remove that eye okay and I come back here to this page and I refresh this page you won't see any difference oh Oh, you, uh, that's a lie. You will see a difference. Oh, yeah, show, right. You don't want it to show. You won't see a difference. Okay, so you can load the page and then generate the icons dynamically oh, with JavaScript. You can generate all these dynamically with JavaScript because remember, these are what's being shuffled. Okay, these are what's being shuffled. So you're going to shuffle them. Then um, once, so a couple other pieces here. Um, let's actually go through this. So the game randomly shuffles the cards that will be hidden that the user will flip over. So these are the cards that are hidden. So your game will randomly shuffle. Not my game, like it doesn't automatically randomly shuffle. You have to make it randomly shuffle. A user wins once all the next cards have been matched. Okay, so eventually you're going to get to the end. Um, there's only gonna be one match left. You're gonna click on it. Yes, you will, okay. You're gonna click on it. It's gonna match once you get to the end and you match the last card, player wins. Okay, and that can be an alert. Okay, if you, if you finish really quick and you wanna make it fancy, hey, please, by all means, if you finish really quick, you want to change this, by all means, go ahead. Users should not be able to reveal more than one card at a time. Okay, so uh, yesterday I talked about set timeout. And this is exactly where set timeout comes into play. Um, let me open this up here. Okay, when I click this card, there's a delay. The card opens, and before the card is hidden again, there's a delay. This is where set timeout happens. Now, the thing is, if what I don't want to be able to happen is I don't want users to be able to click, 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 click really fast and show five cards. So the next card should not be able to open until this card closes. So if you think of that in terms of programming, um, if a card is open, do not open another card. How do you tell if a card is open? Well, probably has a class on it, right? So if there is a if there exists a card that is that has the class show, don't open another. One. Okay, so you will need set timeout here to open. Users should not be able to open cards that are already open. So for example, uh, you can see, you can see uh, when I click on a card, uh, let's find the matching card here. here. When I click on this card, this score should not, one, this score should not increase. I have another bug, but I need to fix this. Uh, I've got another bug. This score should not increase. And two, it should not change to green again. It should not change to this color. It's solid green, right? So I shouldn't be able to open a card or show a card that's already open. Okay. I should only be able to open cards or I should be able to click on a card twice uh, and close it. Okay, or, or do something. Um, a user wins once all the cards have been successfully matched. Upon winning the game, so users should be presented with an alert indicating they've won the game, as well as how many moves it took them. So you're gonna take this 
and you're going to include that information in the alert. A user can restart the game anytime by pressing the restart button. Okay. Um, this will cause all the cards to be hidden again, reshuffled, move counter set to zero. Refreshing the browser or using a function called location.reload, which we've never seen, but every, every, every year students find this function and they use it, is not acceptable. That is, this is the JavaScript way of refreshing the browser. And actually, if I put this in, a, in my app.js right now and I ran it, it'd just give me an infinite loop of refreshing. The game should display the current number of moves the user has made. A move is considered to have occurred when a card has been shown to a user and either it's determined that it is matched or unmatched. So regardless of whether we flip it over and it's matched or not matched, that's a move. Um, comments should be present in the code and effectively explain a longer code procedure when necessary. Code is formatted with a consistent, logical, and easy to read formatting, including, including proper indentation and thoughtful variable names. You are submitting this as a zip file and it includes all three of them. Your zip file should contain your first and last name. We are not doing blind marking here. Uh, you must upload it to the portal no later than midnight, Friday. Uh, 20, that's, that'll be the 28th, I'll change that. Um, Friday, late assignments. So uh, this is a project. So unlike assignments, projects are allowed to be late, okay? Um, because I don't review the solution of the project on the next day. Usually the projects are submitted and I mark them. I don't go over the solution. Um, so if you wanted to submit it late, that's fine. However, for every 24 hours that it's late, it's 10%. So if you wanted to submit it Monday, the best you can do is uh, midnight, like 70%, okay? For every, so as soon as it's a minute late, if it's a minute late, it's 10% off. If it's, tw if it's 23 hours late, it's 10% off. So if you're going to submit it late, make it really late. Don't make it a minute late or a second late, okay? Um, 24 hours and one minute, that's 20%. Um, and that's it. You can go ahead and use this uh, to check it out. Obviously, there's some bugs in here, so be careful. Um, they're not major bugs, but it just kind of gives you an idea of how things work. Okay. Uh, you can't steal the code. Um, I did a little bit of special things on here. You would want to steal the code because obviously I would know that anyways. Um, okay, but I, I did some special stuff to obfuscate it. So it looks like a crazy bunch of crap anyways. Um, it's just garbage. Um, yeah. So uh, would you elaborate on your score? Get one right and earn one point? No, no, your score, score is bad. It should be really how many moves it took you. Yeah, number of turns, total turns. Yeah, I should probably change that. Total turns. Think of it like golf. Every time I flip it, right, it adds one. Do you want us to change it to turns? No, no, just leave it at score. I'll change it to turns next year. Just leave it, yeah. Um, and then eventually you're gonna get to the end. Oh, wow, this is terrible. I don't think this is mine, that's why. I think I used someone else's. Uh, see how, I, I can't match this anymore. There's another piece in there. Yeah, I think this is, I think I gave you someone else's. Um, I should look for mine. So definitely don't copy this. There are definitely bugs in here. Okay, but it gives you a sense of kind of what I'm looking for, more or less. Yeah, there's no match. 
yeah, that's a problem, right? That's obviously a problem. Uh, I'm in a point now where I can't beat this game, right? That's, that's an issue. Um, yeah, that's it. This is individual work. Okay, this is not partner work. Um, again, as with everything, just be careful. Uh, everything builds on everything else. You're only cheating yourself, blah, blah, blah. All the same stuff I usually say. So once the match is the program stop, yeah, can, um, if, you have a, if you have a question about interpreting the requirements, yeah, you can ask on Discord public chat, absolutely. And I'll, 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 I'll typically, so questions about requirements, never a problem. It's questions about like, hey, does anyone know how to do this? That's a problem. Um, are you gonna update the demo of your website to a correct one? No, actually, I kind of like this. I kind of like having one that isn't quite correct. Um, it shows a lot of the correctness, but not everything. Yeah, I, I don't think I'm gonna do it because then you have something less to copy. Because um, I guarantee someone's gonna copy this. I almost 100% guarantee someone's gonna try to. Um, once it matches, the program stops. Yeah, because technically, right, based on the requirements, you should not be able to click anything else. It's not that it stops, it's just that the way that you've structured it, I shouldn't be able to click on these anymore, right? This should not increase my move counter anymore. And so there'd be nothing for me to do anyways. Mm -hmm. Someone's mic is on because they're not talking. Who are, who are you? Oh, sorry, that's me. <laughs> I hear you typing. Yes, yeah, um, I had to rejoin. My connection was being shitty. Oh, okay. Um, yeah. Can you refer to load? Can we use refer to load? Oh, defer. Yeah, whatever you need to 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 load up this JavaScript. Uh, what is it? How is it being loaded right now? Um, oh, it's at the bottom. Yeah, whatever you want, you can use. Just leave it at the bottom. It's fine. If you want to, you can. I don't really care. Any other questions? Again, feel free to just shoot me a Discord. And I do like it in the public chat uh, for questions about requirements, because then I can answer for everyone. Um, yeah. Are you guys scared? Be scared. Uh, I think the pig game was more difficult than this. Like, there's a lot more moving parts and stuff to it. I think the pig game is more difficult, right? The pig yeah. game is more difficult than this. Yeah, Stop actually, you guys all did the pig game. We're good. Yeah, there's. It's here's the thing. It's not the same, right? So everyone's like, "Is it going to be about the same?" It's like, it's, yeah, I guess so. But the problems are different. Um, it, in terms of scope, it's going to be fewer lines of code. It's not any more complex, but they're different problems, right? You're solving different problems right now. Like one, uh, the first thing you're gonna wanna do is, I did post the pig game answer already, yeah. Um, the first thing you're gonna want, you won't be able to use, change the colors when you're, when you're okay, so let me deal with this uh, from the start, uh, one question at a time. One, the first thing you're probably gonna wanna do is work on shuffling cards and, and putting out your um putting out your shuffled icons you can use whatever icons you want these are fun awesome icons right but yeah feel free to change them after do that after okay but that's going to be the first thing you want to attack in my opinion um some people leave that till the end because they feel like that's a really hard piece and technically you don't need to like technically you can do the rest of the game without shuffling it. So maybe that's not a critical piece. Um, actually, yeah, I'll, I, I don't wanna, I don't want to say do that first and then everyone goes to do that. People just get stuck on it. It's not critical. What, what is critical is clicking on something and matching it. That's critical, but you can change the icons to the COVID ones. That would be, uh, if you, so sorry, I'm getting sidetracked. 
the critical piece is being able to match a card. That's really the critical piece. That's where things start. Clicking on a card, opening a card, closing a card. That's the most important thing. If you can't click on a card, open it, close it, you can't do any of this. So that's where you should start. Shuffling can happen anytime, um, but a lot of people, I'll be honest, um, there's a, I would say there's about 30% of students who don't do shuffling. Um, and I, I can't say it's worth 10%, it's worth 15%, right? I always, whenever I'm, as you know, if you've sat down with me, I look at the project as a whole and I say, based on all these requirements and everything that you hit and all your stuff, this looks like a C to me, this looks like a B to me. Okay, um, so I can't say specifically what requirement is worth how much, it depends. It really depends. Um, it's more of a, a, a whole list. I have to consider the, the project as a whole. Um, the other question was, you can change the colors when you're done. You can do anything that you want here. Like once you're done, do it first. You can submit me to me new colors, new backgrounds, new icons, new fonts, whatever. Every year I get really interesting things. You can add sounds in if you want. If you're if you're done, I highly recommend you look into sounds and videos and playing that sort of stuff. Right? We're, we don't cover playing sounds, but playing sounds is simple is as simple as including an MP3 or a WAV file with your files, just like an image, and you can just JavaScript has a way to play them. You just have to look it up. Okay, so people like I've had Halloween versions where I open it and it's creaky, and then if I match, it screams. Right, do whatever you want. Um, just finish it first. What else? Uh, John had a question. Yeah. So the next piece will will also be a random icon, right? I don't really care so much about that. This part of randomness, I don't think I indicate that it needs to be shuffled or random. This can be the same order every time. It's This part is really up to you if you want to make it random or not. As long as this part is randomized, it doesn't matter if this is random, right? Because if this is always an anchor to start, well, that's fine because you don't know where the anchor is in here. So. It doesn't really matter. Um, if you want to, that's fine. If you don't, that's fine too. Like if you find it's easier to randomize that piece, that's fine. If you don't, that's fine too. Like a random song list. I guess so. I, I'm not exactly sure <laughs> about that question. Uh, like a random song list? like. The order, like shuffle, right? Shuffle, like a shuffle song. Like this. Um, any further extensions past what I've already said is okay. So if you want to um, extend it past sounds and video, sounds and colors and icons and photos and stuff like that, ask me, okay? Because um, I can't just let you just take this project and go and do whatever you want with it and then submit it and say, hey, I'm done. Um, and then I look at it and, I, and I, like, this is not what I asked for at all. It's cool that you did this really cool thing, but I, every, other, every other year I get a student that does that. So just be careful, just ask me first, okay? Tell me what you want to do. I'll probably say, give me your completed version and then go and do whatever you want to after that. Any other questions? Midnight, tomorrow night. The intention is not to send this home with you uh, tomorrow night. Okay, I want your Friday to be a Friday night. The intention is to be kind and give you extra time. Zoom meeting tomorrow morning? Yeah, sure. I like our Zoom meetings. 8.45, I'll be here. Uh, It'll be a, let's call it a Q&A session. Tell you what, tomorrow morning between 8.45 and 10 o'clock, we'll, I'll just have Zoom open. You can come in, you can work, um, we can chat. Um, 
if no one participates, if I'm just sitting in a room alone, uh, I'll probably close it. Or if I'm sitting in a room alone with no camera, no video, I'll probably just close it. But yeah, I'll be on a 45 tomorrow morning, of course, absolutely. Okay, just to say good morning to everyone um, and check in to see if anyone has any big questions or any big problems they encountered. Okay, but uh, other than that, it's gonna be mostly Discord, I would assume, for the next while. Okay. All right. Um, good luck. You got this. Easy peasy. Okay. Lots of time. Lots of time to work through these little things. Um, and I will touch base with you on Discord in about 30 seconds. Okay. All right. I'm going to kill this meeting now. Enjoy. Have fun in the afternoon programming. I'm going to be coming up with ideas for our next course and some rearranging. Okay, so I will see you later. Bye.